welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making Hawaiian oxtail soup. Oxtail soup is a local flavor in Hawaii. Um, everybody has different um, versions of how to make oxtail soup. Today I'll be making it with mustard greens, Chinese mustard greens, and some baby bok choy with some cilantro, green onion, peanuts and um, straw mushrooms and some ginger and garlic. And first what we're going to do is we're going to, this is four pounds of oxtail and I was just um, browning it a little bit with some oil. And what we're going to do is just let that brown and after we're going to put two cups of vegetable stock and some water and we're going to let it simmer for about three hours. What I'm going to add to this is I'm going to add Hawaiian sea salt. I'm just going to put that on there. And after this up, I'm going to add some garlic powder. You can add as much garlic powder as you want. And some black pepper. I'm going to want to put it in a really large pot. I'll be using Trader Joe's Organic Low Sodium Vegetable Broth. To this, you can add chicken broth if you want to. Um, some people just add water. I'll be also adding um, water to this. As it's browning, I'm going to add the vegetable sauce in here. I kind of have it at a medium high heat. And to the pot, I'll be adding four cups of water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start breaking these up and I'm going to wash them because there's a lot of dirt and or old piece of parts of the, the, um, on the, vegetable. You're not going to keep this part this hard, but you're going to wash and rinse all of that. Right now I'm going to be adding some ginger and some garlic. I, what I did was I peeled and, um, and diced some ginger, large pieces. I'm going to add that to the broth. And I got five cloves of garlic and I cut it up. I'm going to add that to the broth as well. That's going to give it a lot of flavor to the broth. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of aloha shoyu. You can add as much as you like to it, but you know, that's just going to give some um, enhancing some flavor to this broth. It's been simmering for now um, about an hour and a half um, and the water has reduced so I'm going to add some more um, water. I'm going to add about eight cups of water. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on high again and let it boil and then when it starts boiling, then I'll reduce the heat to about five. Um, I'm gonna leave all of this, this um, fat for now, just so that it still can flavor the, the broth. And then later on, after I put the vegetables in, then I'll start skimming off this, this fat. Okay, the soup has been simmering for three hours now and the meat is still like on the bone I had to kind of cut a little bit off the bone but um yeah it, I'm going to be adding all my greens um, I have here baby bok choy this is a pretty large bowl of baby bok choy I'm going to add that inside 
and I had made a mistake. Um, usually you would add some mustard greens, um, but this one I didn't have. Um, there's different varieties of mustard greens. This is daikon leaves. Um, it kind of has like a slightly bitter taste. And I have a really large bowl of that as well. All of this is going to wilt down. It's going to give a really nice flavor. And then last, I'm going to add some green onions that I've cut. I'm going to be adding cilantro closer to the end. There's some water here, but I, I'm going to add a lot more water in here. Probably another four to six cups in here. I have actually added eight cups of water um, to this soup. And like I said, it's going to wilt down. And I'm just going to let that cook. Um, let's say about 30 minutes or so. Let's see how that goes. Okay, now that I, I've simmered it for a half an hour, I'm going to be adding cilantro for cilantro. I've um, cut it up. And in a few minutes, it will be finished. About another five minutes. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to skim some of this oil out. And if you get some cilantro, just kind of put it back in there. I should have done this a little bit. Uh, I should have done this before I added the cilantro, but I totally forgot about that. I'm going to be adding this much Hawaiian salt um, to the broth because I did add a lot more water to the to the broth, so you're going to have to add resalt it. You might have to add two of these, um, two heapings of this Hawaiian salt to it. If you don't want that much salt, I would, I would use maybe some soy sauce if you want to. So I skimmed off most of the, the fat in here, and I'm gonna put this over rice. You can serve over rice. You see how, how nice and tender that oxtail is. You can actually make the greens less, um, less, um, less cooked here, but I like to keep it because of all the, the broth. It makes the broth taste really good. You can see there's some peanuts in here, some of the fat, some of the mushrooms. You just got to get a big bowl, big piece of oxtail if you want that on there. What I like to do is I like to add some Chinese mustard and put it in, into the soup, and that makes it taste really good. I hope you folks enjoyed this. Um, you can make different kinds of, um, you can experiment with other types of vegetables inside. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Aloha.